All right, y'all. It is a gorgeous day, but I got to get to work. Hey, Pepper, you want to come help me, girl? Probably not. All right, let's go get some stuff shipped. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin, and we are in the Commonwealth Cabin and we had another day of good sales. I feel like maybe we've kind of hit the peak with all this craziness here, and maybe sales are slowing down just a tick, and then I have a day like this, and it's like, holy moly, we made a bunch of money. Now, a couple of these things are kind of outside the box, outside of the typical picker style here, and I like doing that kind of stuff. I like finding things that other people have passed by. One of these items sold for $129.95 plus shipping, today and it was there at a huge church sale and it was an hour and a half in i was there forever i was talking to people before i found this thing and tons of people passed over it i'm sure tons of people looked at it but i'm the only one who bought it because i bothered to look it up it's something i've sold similar things before i've never sold this particular one but what makes it even better for me is that you know when you do these garage sale videos people criticize you all the time like you shouldn't have bought that you should have bought this these, these are the things you passed up, and I really don't mind that at all. I, I like it when other pickers who are experienced out there tell me, hey, you should have picked this up, or maybe you should consider picking these things up. I like that because I learn and I get better, and hopefully some of you do too, by looking at the comments. That's great. That's why I originally started watching YouTube videos, so I could pick out different things that I'm not used to sourcing. But you know, it's pretty rare when somebody sees you buy something in a video and says, you shouldn't buy that item. Well, that item sold today for $129.95 plus shipping, so that makes me really happy. Let's take a look at what's sold. All right, we have an item from the Lost and Found sale. This is the golf course sale. I haven't sold anything from this in a while, and I just had another thing come through that I'm going to show you here in a minute that also came from that sale. So I'm not going to give you an update just yet on how much money we've made from that particular sale because I want to get that other item in here first, and then I'm going to let you take a look at that. So this is just an old-school Big Bertha Warbird. This is a driver head cover. Usually I get these in far worse condition. This one sold for $7.91 plus shipping, so it's a decent little profit for something that simple that won't break and is easy to slide into a bag. You know, some people say to me all the time, they're like, well, you know, why would you sell something when you only make two bucks, three bucks, four bucks? Well, I won't sell some things for two or three bucks, but some things like that I will sell for two or three bucks. In that case, we're going to make like six fifty or a little bit more even. So I'm okay with low profits on certain items, high profit margins, low profits, if they're really, really easy and the chance of a return or a break is low. And that is that item to a T. All right, out of our $2 Liberty University buy Walmart Retail Arbitrage, this is the lowest profit item we're going to have. So we're selling this shirt for $14.95, free shipping. So we're making a profit of about $6 on this. And this is the lowest profit item shirt of the whole bunch. We're selling some for really close to a $10 profit, which is awesome. And so we're going to end up making quite a bit of money. My estimate is about $1,200 total on that 150 t t-shirt buy we made at Walmart. All right, so a little tiny Panasonic charger. Now, here's one that I even I debated whether or not I should take the time to list it and sell it. This came from one of those telephone systems that I buy occasionally, and some of the phones wouldn't take a charge at all, so I had to end up parting it out. This is a PQLV209 Panasonic charger for those phones. I think I had it listed for just under $7, which is not a very high profit. You know, you're looking at making $253 bucks on this thing max, probably closer to $250. And so to take a picture, to list it, it's a one-off, probably wouldn't do it, but I had two of these. And so one listing to make the $250 profit twice, so $5, and I'll probably put 10 minutes into it. That turns it into like a $30 an hour profit, and that made it worth my while. If it was just one of these, we're looking at just over a $15 an hour profit, would not have listed it, I don't think, unless I had nothing else to list, which is about where we're at. I was hoping... We would be back at garage sales at this point, but we're still not. And I think I have one more garage sale video left from last winter. I stored up a bunch of them. I didn't do that because I was some kind of a sage. I did that because I'm a little bit OCD. But even now, we're going to run out. So, But hopefully, we'll be getting out thrifting and doing garage sales soon. So 250 or so profit on this little guy. Better than nothing, I suppose. 
All right, I'm just looking at my list and I forgot to pick up one item back here. So you're going to go with me. I haven't been doing too much of this because we've been selling so much that it's been hard to go around and pick items because that adds to the video and the videos we're getting like 25 minutes and I want to keep them under 20 for sure. So let's go back and pick this one up at least and then we'll show you a nice little gift that somebody brought us. All right, I think if I remember correctly, it is... Kind of the electronic-y type stuff that's small I've been putting over here. I forgot to turn the lights on. Maybe I should do that here. I love these lights, by the way. All right, let's see. And this is something I have shied away from selling, sort of. I want to talk about it a little bit. This is the Medela breast pump. And, you know, to sell these, you're supposed to clean them and do all kinds of stuff. So just selling the motor and that's it without any of the tubes and any of the other stuff is the way to go on these for me anyways. And these usually go for right around 40 bucks. And that's what this one sold for, I think, just a shade under. So the pump in style. So I just look these up and look at people sell lots of these things, like lots of five or lots of 10 and you can get 40, 40 bucks for them. So I would definitely start looking at these if they want too much money for a full system, but just these little motors are definitely worth the time and money for sure. All right, now that we're over here, Riker. That's a great name, by the way, Riker Percival. And let's see here, what do we got here? That's the eBay store, right? Okay, uh, I've seen a Kansas. He says, I haven't seen a Kansas plate among your amongst your collection. The plate I've sent you is the tag that was on my grandparents' car before they passed away. That is amazing. I'm, I'm very pleased and honored to have that. Thank you so much. And I love the seal here. The great state of Kansas reminds me, of course, of the Commonwealth Picker symbol here that we used on those mugs. And the letters are actually my grandma's initials. So it would be awesome to see that in your videos and will give you something good to remember every time I see it. So that is awesome. I'm very pleased to put that up. And I will try to put it somewhere where you can see it often. And I have a Kansas plate already. I can't remember. I think it's over here somewhere, if I recall. Let me look. Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. There it is down there. There's the Kansas one, but we don't have that. That's got the state house on it. So I will put it up here somewhere. I'll have to put it on a rafter. Maybe I'll put it here or here, somewhere you can definitely see it. So thank you so much, Riker. We appreciate it very much. All right, next item here is this golf bag. It's a tailor-made golf bag. It is brand new, sort of-ish. It has the price tag on it right there. But you'll notice here that there's a little bit of damage right here. This is not one... Oh, it is. I take it back. This is, is one that has a kickstand. But this one's got that damage on it right there. And we got it from the what I call the lost and found sale. It's actually entitled... It's on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. It's entitled, Have Trouble Sourcing in the Wintertime? Try This. Something like that. I can't remember. Maybe I'll put a link if I can remember, but I doubt it. Go over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and you'll find it, I think, in the how-to section. And it'll have a golf course country club kind of on the thumbnail. It's a pretty short video, actually. And when I was doing that video, I told folks, I'm like, look, we're not going to get rich off of this. But basically what we do is we go and we get the lost and found items from a golf course in late December or early January when nobody's at the golf course anymore playing golf. They try to clean those things out and get ready for the next season as spring approaches. And so they're happy to sell me all of their lost and found golf club head covers at a really, really cheap price. And I ended up making some good money. Well, this year they had a few items like this. They had four bags that they wanted to get rid of. And so since I liked keeping that connection, I gave them a decent price for the bags. I paid a grand total for the four brand new bags and all the golf club head covers. I paid $250. And I think when I did the video, I said we should have no problem doubling our money here. We're not getting rich, but it's a good option for some people who don't have inventory and need to source in the wintertime. Now, that was, of course, before I knew all this was going to happen. So I'm definitely glad I did. And my prediction panned out. So we made exactly $250 profit with that first head cover that I showed you a minute ago. And so we doubled our money with that. And this right here sold for $65 plus shipping. So you can add on another $55 or so dollars to that. And we're up to a total of $551 total. 
from that $250 buy. And that's after shipping and after fees, in case you're wondering out there. So we did more than double our money. So far we've made $301 on that sale. And I still have probably 20 head covers back there, which is really good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that sale. And it looks like we're gonna make around 350 to 375 profit. It's a little bit of work, but it's a good little option to do in the winter time. And normally I do better than that on those sales. But this year there was no Scotty Cameron head cover. So if you don't know about Scotty Cameron, go into eBay and just type in Scotty Cameron and type in used even and you'll see putters and head covers and you'll be like, oh my gosh. And so keep your eyes open for Scotty Cameron anything as long as it's not a knockoff and you'll do pretty well. All right, not the greatest retail arbitrage buy out there in the world, but they have sold and they've been selling a lot lately. They've been selling to viewers and selling to non-viewers. I think I had them on sale this week, and so a couple of them sold. $15.26 free shipping, and I paid about $4.50 for them, so definitely not a huge money maker. Looking to make around $5 on these is all at this point, but we've made a lot more on some others at higher prices. So I'm still okay with it, and we're gonna get these shipped out going to two different folks. Thanks. Another emoji float going out here. This one is the flirt, I think it is. Maybe it's the wink. I might have the wrong one. I have to check it out. Either way, they're all selling for the same price. This one, this one sold for $10.71 plus shipping on this. And this is great because you can slap this sucker in a, I think a 1097, I think is the perfect one for this. Although I'm not positive. It might be a 1095. You might be able to stick it in a 1092. At any rate, all three of them will work and it'd be an easy one to ship. You could actually just put this in a poly bag. But the reason I don't put it in a poly bag is because those boxes aren't gonna take this thing to the next pound up. So I'm gonna save my, you know, 10 cents on the poly bag. All right, I'm gonna take you back here on this one because I wanna show you this projector. It's too doggone heavy. And it is a, now that I'm back here, I'm probably gonna have to pull it out with one hand so you can see it. You can see the old school bag. There it is. So here's this Mark S super single projector and it is in really good condition but there are some things on here that i just don't know well enough and so i listed it saying hey this is what i've tested this is what i know how to test and i took pictures and said look at the pictures i don't know what i'm doing here i don't know what's supposed to be on this thing i just know that what i know that functions it functions fairly well and i've just left it at that so it has a few extras back here as well if i recall anyway this sucker right here on the video, and the video was entitled, most people miss these at garage sales. I think I bought it like three minutes and 30 some seconds into that video, and maybe I'll link it right here, and you can go check it out. I had a couple people tell me, why in the world did you buy that thing? I would have never bought that thing, blah, blah, blah. And you know, that stuff kind of rolls off my back. I don't really care. That's fine, to each his own, and we all make mistakes. But I didn't think this was a mistake at the time. Matter of fact, I predicted it would sell for 150 bucks on the video. It didn't. It ended up selling for 130 plus shipping on this, which I'm really happy with. So I think I paid $5 for it. I went back and watched the video to see, and I couldn't see on there, but I'm pretty sure I paid $5. I might have paid 10 Who knows? But it sold for 130 so you got to be happy with that. Hey, before we go to the next item that sold in the eBay cave in here, just want to give a giant thank you and a shout out to Jane and to Peter from Canada. We finally got your anime to you, and we forgot your shout out. So thanks so much. We appreciate both of you. Next item up is an odd one, $8.94. But this is going to Canada. Somebody's paying an awful lot of money for these two little pinballs. No, I take it back. Did I say Canada? I headed off to Australia is where these two, two are going. And it's going to go pirate ship, first class, international shipping. All right, sold a couple of water wobbles. My wife bought these retail arbitrage CVS a dollar a piece. But they still took forever to sell. $11.81 plus shipping on these. I think in the last time I said these sold, I think I said she paid like two or three dollars for these, but she told me no, they were a dollar a piece and actually pulled out the receipt. So she's right. I can't give her grief about them. Even at a you know, even at that low selling price of eleven, what did I say? Eleven eighty one. You know, it's still pretty good. It's not too bad of a little profit around uh, eight or nine dollars profit. All right, this guy's going out to Robert, Karen. And Michelle, and I think it's to Michelle and her husband, she says, Hi, me and my husband watch your YouTube. That reminds me of the last time me or I 
all you English folks set me straight out there. So, hi, me and my husband watch our YouTube every day. We got into our store because of you. That's a lot of pressure. And want to say thank you. We started our store in February this year, and our 90-day sales are at $18,000. He has learned so much from your ideas on what to buy, and you have saved us so much in shipping costs. So just want to say thank you very much, Shelly and Blake. So Blake and Shelly, thank you all so much. And it says Michelle Mystical Finds, and the finds is with a Z. So that is awesome. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, and we're so glad that we have helped out in a small way, even though you guys are doing the big work there. Thanks so much. All right, Reagan jumped in here real quick. We got to do something to help her because she's been making these uh, in a man pictures and so she basically in order to save time is going to take an original and trace it and then go ahead and do the rest of it aren't you yeah. there's a lot of, a lot of time to reproduce reproduce everything mm -hmm. and we're putting them over on commonwealthpicker.com and every time she does one and it takes a little bit of work to do them doesn't it yeah every time she does one she's going to put it on there and number it what are we on number five yeah. i think we're on number five we're doing a five and six for the show that if you're watching this the show's going to start in a little while or it already has depending on when you're watching this but mountain man treasure on monday night so if you're watching this i think eight o'clock is that what time it is i think it, i gotta double check if it's before eight o'clock go over there and watch that show troy's show she's going to be on there and we're going to be doing a little charitable things and uh maybe an auction for an item as well and donating that money to charity aren't we and we're getting these ready because this is sunday night and she's getting these ready for tomorrow night so anyway here is the last sale of the day and this is something i don't sell very often i think i have eight left it is a pin see the little pin back right there and i bought this bag for like a buck so i'm not making much money there's a bag of like 15 of these and i'm selling them for seven dollars a piece so you can imagine let's say we're making you know i don't know three bucks on them or so i suppose it's really light so yeah maybe even a little bit more than three mm, about three bucks on them. let's just say three bucks and there was 15 so it's a 45 dollar profit but it's going to take forever to get rid of them mary poppins and this is the gold collection and it says imagination for a lifetime on video and dvd so it's a pin to promote the release of mary poppins on vhs and DVD, of course. So I think that's interesting. I don't know where they came from. Probably came from, who knows, Disney Store. They are giving them away at Disney or something. Who knows? But three bucks profit, we'll take it. Right? Yep. All right, you want to tell them goodbye? Bye. All right. Thank you all for joining us. And don't forget to go over to Troy's if you hear this early enough. And if not, you can go back and watch the replay. Reagan's going to get interviewed over there, aren't you? Yeah. You excited or nervous? Mm, excited. Okay, that's good. All right, thank you all for joining us. And we hope to see you next time all right we would normally have reagan do this homeschool hustler sale because it's little mermaid she likes little mermaid doesn't she uh -huh. do you remember her name who's her name uh, on there do you remember her name little mermaid <laughs> ariel oh yeah ariel. yeah you don't watch that as much though, yeah <laughs> sissy does all right this is uh 7.99 plus shipping and it is going off to a viewer and it is going to judy can you tell judy thank you Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Now, I messed up. I messed something up on that listing, and it caused her not to be able to pay it correctly, and I apologize for that, but we got it straightened out, and it's headed your way. Bye. And, um, she's like, try not to catch it on fire. I'm like, how are you not supposed to catch it on fire? Because I'm like, right, it's going this way. Yeah, it's fine. It looks cool, though.